Welcome to part three of using your iPad with voiceover with Miriam Kelly. In part three, we are going to use and learn how to use the gestures of using the double tap with three fingers and the triple tap with three fingers. I should warn you that these come with a bit of a warning because by using the double tap with three fingers it's going to turn the speech off. Voiceover still effectively works in its behaviour however there is no speech. This is one of the most frequently used I think questions that we would get to our tech support line when people are learning how to use their iPhone with voiceover or their iPad and don't worry it happens to everyone at some point but it's great for you to know what you have done and how to rectify it. So here we go. First I'm going to demonstrate the iPad working normally with voiceover. So I'm going to swipe from left to right on the screen. Calendar, Monday, photos, camera, contacts, clock, maps, videos, notes, reminders, photo booth, settings, so, photo booth, reminders, everything is notes. working fine. Double tap to open. Now, if I double tap with three fingers, watch what happens. Screen curtain on. Screen curtain off. That was a triple tap. So now I'm going to do a double tap with three fingers. Speech off. Speech off. Double tap with three fingers again. Speech on. Speech on. So if I double tap with three fingers now to turn the speech off and then navigate the iPad just so that you can see what's happening. Speech off. Now I'm going to still navigate my iPad. For those of you with vision, you can see that the highlighter is moving from app to app. For those of you with no vision, you can hear the clicks as it's moving from app to app, but nothing is announced. Nothing is announced because we have just turned the speech off. Don't confuse the speech with voiceover. Voiceover is still on, but there is no speech with it. So I'm going to swipe back again from right to left. And it correctly goes from app to app, but no speech. So how do we get the speech back on again? We double tap with three fingers. Tap, tap. Speech on. Speech on. So remember this one, guys, because honestly, it'll happen by accident usually. So if your voiceover is still on and it's navigating through your apps on your iPad settings newsstand item store game center and you happen just double to double tap, tap with three fingers speech off you can accidentally turn this off and there you go you go to navigate again and it's just click 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 so that's your clue you can double tap with three fingers to turn it back on speech on and it will announce that speech is on the other frequent technical support call that we will get from people in distress is that the screen has gone completely dark. That they can hear their voice over, and, but their screen has gone completely dark. And this is called turning on the curtain. When you turn on the curtain on your iPad, the Americans would call it drapes. So I don't know how we ended up with the word curtain. But when you turn the curtain on, your iPad then effectively can still use it. And this is the same for your iPhone, by the way. You can effectively use it. But if you've got some nosy parkers over your shoulder, they can't see what's on your screen. And if you've got your earbuds in and there you are, you're working away on your screen and someone with vision looking at you will go like, what on earth are they doing? Because all they can see is a blank screen. But you're actually working with your device and privacy, if you like, once you have your headphones plugged in and the screen curtain on. Anyway, it normally gets turned off by accident, which is more frustrating than anything. 
So here's the gesture to turn the curtain, the, cur the, the curtain on and off. You triple tap with three fingers. So let me demonstrate that for you. One, two, three. Screen curtain on. One, two, three. Screen curtain off. So I'm going to try it again. One, two, three. Screen curtain on. This time I'm going to navigate my iPad with my screen curtain on. Music. Page one or three. Doc. Support mail. Remember what that sound is? You've reached the bottom. Let's go again. Safari. Page one or three. Music. I translate voice. Kindle. App store. Game center. Item store. Newsstand. Settings. One new item. Settings. I can go Double into settings. Open. Double tap to open. Settings. It announces that I'm in settings, so I can swipe from left to right to go down through settings. General. Airplane mode. Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. Op notification center. Control center. Do not disturb. Selected. Do not disturb. Control center. Notification. Bluetooth. Wi-Fi. Airplane mode. General. Settings. What's that sound? I'm back at the top. General. Heading. Settings. Heading. Settings. Heading. Screen curtain back on. So again, we triple tap with three fingers. Screen curtain off. And my screen curtain, my screen curtain is back off and my screen is back on again. To go back to my home screen, I can press the home button, which is in the bottom center. Settings. One new and item. I hear the chirps. Double tap open. By the way, for those of you that may not have a home button, a lot of these apps, or sorry, a lot of these tablets um, don't have the home button these days. With voiceover on, you simply bring your finger from the very bottom of your iPad, kind of find the center bottom of your device, and just very lightly and gently bring your finger up slowly and you'll hear pop, and then go up another little bit, pop, and that's you back to your home screen. So you've got to wait for the second pop. At a later stage, I don't have access to um, an iPad with without the home button at the moment. But when I do, I will do a little video uh, of voiceover using that particular device as well. It's a little different to get in and out of, but most of the other gestures are the same and they work perfectly for it. All right. But for those of you that don't have a home button and you're very frustrated watching this video, remember you just go down to the very bottom of your iPad. Just run your finger very gently up, just one finger and you hear a little pop, another little pop as you go up and then lift your finger and you'll instantly be brought back to the home screen. So let's recap on part three of using your iPad with voiceover. You can double tap with three fingers to turn the speech off and on. So if your speech is accidentally turned off and voiceover is still working, then you simply double tap with three fingers to turn it back on again. That's tap tap with three fingers aligned together. To turn the curtain on where you cannot see then anything on your iPad or your iPhone if, you've, if you're following this with an iPhone, then you triple tap with three fingers this turns the curtain on, but you can still use your device. It's just others will not be able to see. A lot of people like to use this, particularly with their phone, because it helps to save the battery. And if you can't see or if you have no use for having the screen on in the first place, then why burn down your battery? Turn it off. You can still use voiceover. So thank you for watching part three and using the gestures with your iPad for turning the screen curtain on and off and turning the speech on and off.